Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. More about them later. Hmm. What should I print today? Let's print his brain. What? This is a real 3D printed human brain. Let me show you how you do it. Bismillah. Let's get started. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They provide plenty of services including PCB prototyping, assembly, flexible PCB and so on. They can do different kind of PCBs depending on your project. Even you can do CNC milling, 3D printing, laser cutting and injection molding. Simply upload your CAD file and make an order from them. If you want to know price of your project, just use their handy calculator before ordering for instant quote. They have thousands of reviews and clients worldwide. Visit pcbway.com for more information. Now we continue to the video. Before 3D printing my brain, it's required to make its 3D model. For that, I went to MRI scan to get layered pictures of my brain. After scanning, they gave me a film with a bunch of images of my brain and a disk that has a digital scan information which we need for this project. I'll be following a tutorial by Michael Notter on GitHub to convert my MRI information to a 3D model of the brain. This tutorial assumes that we have compressed nifty file. However, the MRI skin gave me a folder of DICOM files, so I need to compress them as nifty. This file includes compressed images of brain layers. Now we should make a 3D model out of it using some terminal commands. This conversion took more than 10 hours. After it's done, the result was awful. Later I found out that the MRI scanner close to me was an old scanner, so it gave blurry images. The result was not usable. Eventually, I wanted to try a clear MRI scan, so I went to Harvard Dataverse website and downloaded an MRI scan to use. I did everything from zero again and surprisingly, it worked. For the first print, I wanted to make a splitable brain to look it's cut in half. I placed holes for magnets so you can attach and detach it when you want it. Now, let's start 3D printing process.
imprinted human brain was very smooth and astonishing. I loved the quality. Before building a smart LED light with a human brain model, let me talk about the printer which I used. Thanks to Creality for sending me a resin printer, Creality Halot 1 Plus. It's a new model with a 172 by 102 by 160 mm volume and has 7.9 inch 4K mono LCD screen. The print volume is great for your medium format prints. What I like most about this printer is the Creality ecosystem. You can get OTA updates from the internet and update your printer firmware without any wired connection. You can control your printer with the app Creality Cloud. Slice your models in the app, even connect a webcam and monitor your printer remotely. This webcam setup allows you to make satisfying time lapses of your printing process easily. It has a built-in air filtration system with active carbon. It absorbs most of the resin odor and provides safer printing conditions. It's also replaceable, so you can replace it when it gets old. Its resin vat can hold up to 650 ml of resin. It has dual linear rails for Z-axis, providing more stable prints. I tried 3D printing the brain with this Hallot 1 Plus, so you can see the print results. Make sure to check out this printer by the link in the video description.
I'm going to use WLED for me for controlling my smart brain LED light. It gives cross-platform controlling methods including web browser and a mobile application. The project is finished with those results. I am happy that I succeeded in this project. Thank you for watching and see you next time in my projects inshallah.